Hey there, Doris Mocho here. Welcome to Stories at 254, home of editing entertainment where we educate you, entertain you and inform you at the same time. Na leo ni kuna marafiki zangu hapa, wataji introduce. Wacha tuanze na uyu sponsor. Hey, umenipea jina kubwa na iko sawa. Mi naitua Chalizi, watu wengi wana nitambua kama robotics. Yes. Ya yeah, na kwa wale wajaona scandal zangu kwa magazeti ama kunisikia kwenye radio naitwa Kinyash ama ukipenda Don Mufti. Mm, yeah. Freshi freshi. So well, to Dave tu kwa hiyo story yenye mlikuwa mkinipatia kiasi kiasi hapa behind the scenes. So kulienda aje? Ya yeah, story yenye imetufikisha hapa inahusiana na MC wa State House. Government MC Chipukizi. Mhm. Ya. Ah sisi shida tuko nayo na Chipukizi tunamdai pesa. <laughs> Akona deni yetu na deni sasa imechukua ni kama miaka saba nane hivi. Yeah. Miaka saba? Mm. By the way hii si comedy. Mhm. Hii si comedy usicheke. Hii si kitu fani. Hii ni kitu ime happen in real life. Sasa ukicheka unacheka shida zetu. Eh yeah, wewe unatucheck. Yeah. Guy poleni poleni poleni. Ni venye miaka saba kwani mlifanya kazi gani? Actually uh, 2016 achipkiza uh, aliandaa show ilikuwa inaitwa Funny Truth. Mm -hmm. Na location ilikuwa pale Western Hotel. Oh, so, ile ya Ruto. Yes, 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 hiyo mm -hmm. moja. So sisi tulikuja kama watu wa sales and marketing. Mm -hmm. Na pia tulikuwa part of creative lakini si vile. So alitu alituita akatuambia kama tunaweza work na yeye. So si tukaona asichipukizi. Alafu pia ukumbuke alikuwa ametu ametu promise vitu mingi mingi akituambia yeah, so yeah. uh, after hiyo sije kuna ma project gani tukimaliza tu eh, like unajua ile una, una, unaona ukiingia kwa project ukitoka hii unaingia next alafu mtu kachipukizi unaona ni mtu unaamini juu unaona huu ni mtu na watu kama amewaka na chachil sisi ni nani oh, jua, kuna jina no? kubwa sisi ni nani tukamwamini then naona kitu ime happen Hmm? Kwani ana uh, ana wa oh how much? Okay. Uh, tulipata na first meeting. Uh, we had a breakfast hapa tu karibu UN. Atukapanga uh, when to start. From there alitupea each of us alitupea 1000. Akatuambia ah itu ni uh, fair kurudi mta ya yeah, transport. Ujue, hii kazi ilikuwa wiki moja. Yeah. So hiyo hiyo ilikuwa transport. Transport hii hata ilikuwa kwa hesabu. Mm. Sisi so, tukaanza kazi. Kuanzia Monday ilikuwa hii supermarket iko hapa inaitwa. Actually uh, kazi yetu main tulipewa zile tickets. tickets yeah. <coughs> so sisi tukawekwa hapa do you know where Naivas iko size hapa Moy Avenue mm -hmm. ilikuwa gani na kumat kitambo. So sisi tulikuwa tunaoperatia from there then jioni tulikuwa tunaleta hizo nini kwa jamaa fulani alikuwa hapa karibu jamii ya Moska anaitwa Victor. Tunaziweka pale then asubuhi pia tunaraukia. So each day you were supposed to pay 2000. Each day yenye tunafanya. So ilikuwa inaenda for a week meaning it was a uh, 14000. Uh, kila kila mmoja wetu. Ukumbuke kuna wengine waliwekwa wanafanya wakiwa ile na kumatio time ikiwa pale kwa highway mall. Hadi tulikuwa watu sita saba. Hii si timu yote. Ni sisi tu tumejitokelezea juu. Kitu fani wasichana walilipwa. Yeah. Mm, tulikuwa na wasichana wawili. Yeah. Au walilipwa. Mm. Sisi wanaume tukawekwa nje. Mm. So hatuku understand ni criteria gani alitumia ama ni game gani ilichezwa hapa. Mm. Wengine wakalipwa, sisi wengine hatukulipwa. Mm. So unaweza kuwa unawanda Mbona tumechukua so long sasa kutokea ati ndio sasa saa hizi tunadai. Si ati tuko na shida hivyo ati ya pesa. Si ati tunadai hiyo do sasa hii ati tumesota ama nini? Tumejitokea tu kama example. Ndio watu wengine wanakuja after uh, after sisi wasiumie juu sasa hii jamaa kona show nyingine ina air Y254 KBC KBC. KBC. Ni KBC. Mm. Eh, hiyo show iko on air na the same same thing was sipo chunga it happen kwa hao watu wengine but hiyo imanisha ti ana deni yetu bado tunamdai hiyo do actually tumejitokeza tu kuhamasisha watu wengine yeah. na kuwaon so, unajua pia ruta alikuwa anatuambia si nilikuwa nimewaon yeah. e, sasa sisi pia tunawaoni in advance 
if una work na mtu kama achipukizi ambaye sasa hii sijui ni government MC or whatever mm. make sure na wewe pia unapewa dues yako hata kama ni half of it before uingie deal na ye. Yeah. kwa sababu ame prove kuwa si mtu wa kuamini mm. kufanya na ye kazi yeah. na tunajuaga wakamba ni watu waaminifu sasa sijui ye uko na ukora Nairobi amekuja ametoa wapi na since ilikuwa ni ni, ni 14000 kama akiamua kutulipa mm. angalie pia rate ya dola mahali imefika mm. mm, so a, 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 wanasemanga ku backdate e, mpaka kufikia size asitulipe na dola hiyo siku na usisahau the mental damages <laughs> yenye <laughs> emotional damages <laughs> yenye alikosa at that time <laughs> yani eh ulipitia <laughs> emotional damages no, gani serious thing kwa sababu hiyo pesa umepangia yeah. you are working for it ushapanga vile utaitumia yeah. hata kama ni bilia steam mm. ama maji ushapangia then inakosa kutokea unajua siku mimi niliachwa kuna mtu nilikuwa nimeweka pending nilikuwa nimpeleke date na hiyo pesa woi ukaachwa eh nikabaki single jinsi ku keep promise all because of uh, of him mm. so hizo hizo ni part of the damages mm. tulipitia Usisahau kuna emotional damages. Mm. Na hiyo time kuna watu pia walifungiwa manyumba. Yeah. Unaona? Juni pesa tulikuwa tumetegemea kufanyio nini. So kama anaweza ongeza pia damages kidogo. Mm. Hatuta complain sana. Sema tu double do yetu juu mm. sasa. Penye life iko sahihi hata wewe unaelewa. Bea kila kitu imepanda. Munga, nini, sukari, kila kitu. So yeah. kama mm. Na actually unaweza uliza kama tuliwahi fuatilia ama tukufuatilia mm. the real thing is tulifuatilia yeah. mpaka hiyo by that time alikuwa bado na work uh, kiss mm. akatuita meeting mm. we went to kiss akatupeleka kwa boardroom fulani hapo tukakaa sasa akatutolea plan ya vile anataka show yake iende mm. tulikuwa tutembe mpaka campuses chipkizi show ikienda kwa ma campus and all that mm. but it never happened cause after hapo Alitubeba kwa gari yake akatuleta mpaka Kenya National Theater. Akatuambia tu bye kila mtu tutaongea and that was it. After job, eh, after, after job. job. Na tulikuwa na WhatsApp group pia. Mm. Kidogo kidogo akajitoa. Aka left. Aka group. Yeah. Wa? Mm. So mm. Sisi wengine tukabaki ndani but sasa attempt ya kumreach sasa via phone call. Juu unajua sasa hii story. Unaweza kuwa ti wendi ya hujafuatilia wengine mi labda wamesotewa. Mm. Juu sasa tuja confirm kila mtu kila mtu akaamua aka kujifuatilia ndio tukapatana na my friend hapa tukasema acha tumcall eh juu kama ame left tuka call sasa hapo ndio tulijua the real chipukizi eh hey, aliwaambia nini alituambia ama akushika akushika simu hadi wa leo sasa mi, mi, sasa leo. after akushika simu Huyo akakuwa ni kama ame give up. Mimi nika make effort nikamfuata. Hiyo time alikuwa anafanya Ibru TV. Alikuwa na show pale. I went there nikapatana naye. Kitu alifanya akutaka tuongee sasa pale ndani ya Ibru. Akatoka akaniambia alikuwa na Benz fulani hapo nikapanda na hiyo Benz. Tukatoka akaenda Mpesa nyingine akatoa it was 60,000 so nikajua hii ni siku yangu ya kulipwa. <laughs> Unge 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 imagine ile furaha nilikuwa nayo at that time. Yeye akahesabu tu hiyo pesa and I think Sam alikuwa anatumia mamake. And then I think alinipeleka tu mahali tukakula lunch and that was it. Akukupea hata 1000. Nothing. Unaweza imagine hiyo damages. Hmm? Mtu ana withdraw pesa lakini hmm. si wewe anataka kukulipa. Ni matumizi yake. Hmm. So in short mlikoniwa na chipukizi ama mnasema nini? Tunaweza sema ni con game. In fact it was a long con. Mm, con hiyo ilikuwa ni con game juu. Utaita nini sasa mtu amekufanyia kazi and then haujamlipa. Na maybe kuna mtu anaweza fikiria maybe mnajaribu ku raid on his name because he has a new show. Do you guys have evidence? Mko na mko na receipts. Evidence ziko mm-hmm. kila kona. Mm-hmm. Ukiona picha kama hii, mm-hmm. this was our first meeting. Mm-hmm. Mimi hapa pembeni. Huu mm-hmm. ni yeye hapa anapiga. This was mm-hmm. our first meeting. Huyu mimi. Mm-hmm. This was our parara hiyo time. Eh, hey, ulikuwa umekonda ni ajemtu. Ilikuwa mashida. Mm-hmm. Hii ilikuwa our first meeting tukiwa na yeye sasa tuki strategize. Mm-hmm. Venye itakuwa. Mm-hmm. Then ikafika hiyo time hapa mm-hmm. tuko na yeye kwa wapi? Ilikuwa ni kabila sasa watu waanze kuingia hapa ndani ya Western mm-hmm. Hotel. Mm-hmm. 
Eh holi kipangwa si tulikuwa pale. Mtu kama ex Jandela alikuwa hapa alikuwa mtu wake wa online ku trendisha mm. the show and all that. Then ukiangalia mali kama hapa sasa hapa ndiye alikuwa anaingililia kwenda kwa stage. Mm. Mimi hapa ndio nilikuwa na mdirect venye ataenda mm. kuingia mpaka kwa nini kwa stage. Unaona ako na mic, mm. ako tayari kutaka kuanza show. Mm. So yeah. the reason siko hapa nilikuwa na huko nyuma kwa entrance. Mm. Sasa wenye watu wanaingia. Mm. In fact uh, kuna this uh, other one. Mm. Huyu sasa ndio the guy anaitwa Victor. Mm. Mm. Mwenye tulikuwa tunachukua those tickets so hao watu wote basa wakulipwa ni hao tu mademu walilipwa au mademu ndio walilipwa peke yao this guy hapa anaitwa cartoon the original eh, cartoon mm. acha na wengine mm. yeah pia hakulipwa mm. so maybe one word to chipukizi chipukizi okay nani mwambie mwangalie mm. kamera mwambie chipukizi mimi umeniumiza sana na saini 7 years So kama unaweza jitokelezea apologize na usoti mess of which uh, tuseme tu uh, una to refund una uh, una to lipa ile deni yetu then at least to apologize ndio tuone ndio tuone uko, uko genuine na intentions zako yes ah uh, mimi hata sina one one word ya kumwambia mimi namwambia tu uh, sihitaji apology just pay me mm. uh, lipa tu deni tuachane salama yep thank you so much guys for watching see you on the next one bye